Hi, I'm Cedric, and today we're going to make the world's first watermelon Game Boy. Okay, I'm recording from my phone, so the angle's gonna be weird. Here's our watermelon. It's like the size of my palm. I have really big hands. It's like it's slightly tinier than my face. Okay, so how are we gonna turn this into a Game Boy? Well, we're gonna use this. So right here in this box, I've made a a game console. So I've used a Jake the dog power bank, raspberry by tree, the speakers, buttons, small little 1.8 inch screen. Well, Cedric, you just throw all these things together and it starts working, right? Well, you are not not incorrect. Firstly, I got the RetroPie image flash onto an SD card I had lying around. Then I wired up the GPIO pins to buttons, speakers, as well as the screen. Then I added a few lines of codes to the config file to get audio functioning and downloaded some libraries for screen configuration as well as button input. And BAM! With that, we got a working console. This particular console, I'm running Pokemon Emerald and I'm obligated to show that I actually own Pokemon Emerald. If not, I'll get sued for downloading a ROM that I do not own. Okay, so next up, we're gonna cut the watermelon. Mm, I can't see- oh, there it is. As you can see, I'm done making a mess, I mean uh, with the watermelon. It looks just like a normal watermelon, but it's empty on the inside. So now we'll get to drilling the holes in and fitting the screen. Alright, so now we'll be cutting out the parts. So we're gonna have the screen roughly here. Then we've got all the buttons, I'll be following this exact same layout. So basically an NDS. I think because there's X and Y button, right? And drill it here, it's roughly the size of this of this screwdriver head, so I'm just gonna use that. Or we could use a power drill. Okay, power drill. <laughs> So for the very last part, I'm going to be using my very handy Swiss Army knife. Chop out that exact shape, 1.8 inch. So currently I'm done cutting the screen out. Is this the right side? Give me a sec. Nice! It fits exactly the way we wanted it to fit. And all that's left is to fill up the compartment. So I'm thinking of putting in a plastic bag. Because it's still rather moist if you can see. It might spoil the equipment. So my family's out of clear wrap. And I guess I'll just have to improvise. There! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> I just gotta trim down the sides. <laughs> However, that was too nasty, so we ended up getting real clear wrap. Another problem arises. It doesn't seem to fit the biggest messed up hole. So I'll need to use a knife to widen these holes. It seems that widening the holes are really helping. That's a very nice fit now. And since it's watermelon, I can actually like push it in a little. And it kind of fits into its hole after like a bit of pushing. Like so. That yeah, perfect, nice fit. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest for all the buttons. 
A few moments later. Look at it basking in its glory. <laughs> it's a watermelon. <laughs> Next on the list. <laughs> it's a watermelon. We need to cut out some holes for the speaker. So I'm not sure where I should cut this. Like, should I cut it here? Should I cut it the other side? Or I could leave them on the inside like this. And then cut a tiny hole here. I guess that will work. Okay, let's do that. Okay, cool. So there are these holes. And I'm just gonna hot glue, I guess, <laughs> the speakers down. So hot glue doesn't work on watermelon. Yeah, I came up with a different idea. I'm gonna use toothpick. So we're gonna pierce that through. Come on, go through. In the spiky side, like that. Get through this web of wires. See, it kind of fits in place. Voila! Okay. Or maybe voila, depending on which part of the world you're in. I'll be using toothpicks to secure it down. I've managed to secure it with <laughs> toothpick and a blob of hot glue. Now I'm going to reconnect the wires to the breadboard. I have clear wrap. Um, the delicate portions which will go into this and I've also drilled a hole through so that I can plug it into the power source and throw everything in. And so why are you playing right now? Pokemon Emerald. <laughs> why are you playing it on? A watermelon. <laughs> so with the watermelon Game Boy functioning properly, it was now time to get some reactions. So I usually rock this part-time job at my friend's place, some country club. So yeah, I'm on my way there with my watermelon Game Boy. Alright, so I'll show it to my colleagues there. Although I did get to show my colleagues the Watermelon Game Boy, sadly I didn't manage to film their reactions. They really liked it. So instead, I'm going to show it to some of my friends. Hi. They are, they are very confused right now. Okay, remove it from the back. No way. Okay, flip it no over. No way. Did he really what? just say? No, what? What was that? Why would you do it? Is it actually terrible? Yeah, what? just spend, spend the A right. after. And then I went to look for another group of friends. <laughs> oh, so cool. Eh? Oh, wow. What? So cool. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, stupid things of 2020! Woo! After showing my friends the watermelon Game Boy, we all thought it was a good idea to try it out in public. Imagine walking into your local supermarket and you pass the watermelon pile by the fruit section only to find some guy nonchalantly playing Pokemon on watermelon. That's exactly what happened. NANI? NANI? Imagine commuting by train and then someone sits down right beside you, puts his hand into a plastic bag and pulls out a watermelon. And it's not just a normal watermelon, he starts playing Pokemon on the watermelon. 